I owe you guys a sincere apology. I was wrong. Back when Doge was sub one penny levels, I was asked pretty often about it. And I usually said, you know, it's, it's just a joke token, right? It's a joke, but it seems like the joke was on me. When I had this huge breakout above one penny for the first time, what, in a very long time, and then it dropped, I was like, that's Doge for you, right? 125% candle then a 38 drop, 38% drop. And it basically went all the way back down from the high of um, almost nine cents down to a low of two cents. And I continued to say, Doge has no value, has no real value. It's a joke. I'm not trading it. I'm not investing in it. it. Might be hard to tell guys, but what I just showed you on this screen was this right here. And this is where we currently are. I was wrong about Doge. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors, unless you listen to me about Doge. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to help you get to that next level. So guys, make sure to smash that like button if you did not listen to me and you bought Doge anyways and now you've made a bunch of returns on your money. And if you guys are new here, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you know next time I say something to do the opposite when it comes to Doge. Is there a Doge filter? You know how there's like Snapchat filters? Instagram filters where it puts replaces your face. There should be a doge filter, right? That I can just put it on my face throughout this whole video. This is the issue here with doge guys though the same way it can move up this quickly It can also move down. So if you guys get caught on the wrong side of this trade, you're gonna lose a lot of money You can lose 69% basically of your money if you end up buying somewhere at the top and Then the price just rockets down right if it gets plummeted There's just there's a lot of issues when it comes up to doge and volatility is definitely one of the big issues because it's just a mean coin right it's not it's never been a real project there's no real developers behind it there's no real team behind it i think the majority of doge coins are held by like seven people there's a lot that goes into it this is why i have never invested in doge myself because the risk factor is just way too high for me you know crypto overall is already high risk factor putting money in doge is even riskier you know what i mean i would definitely say that when you're first trying to build up a bankroll and you don't have that much capital, it's not a bad bet because especially if you're young and you don't have a lot of money in it, to be able to double, possibly triple, quadruple your money in a matter of a few weeks, the risk reward ratio is a little bit different there because you're going to be risking less money um, if you're young, you're gonna have a lot of time to make m that money back. So it, it's not that big of a deal. But when you start getting into bigger numbers, right? If you're older, stuff like that, then the risk factor is just so much higher that um, the reward isn't worth it. So let's take a deeper dive into Dogecoin, guys. So first of all, as you guys know, Elon Musk has coined himself as the Doge father and he will be on Saturday Night Live this Saturday, May 8th, 2021 for anyone watching from the future. But we will get back into that. So Dogecoin was originally started as a joke and created by Jackson Palmer and Billy Marcus in November of 2013. Marcus recently claimed that he sold all of his Doge back in 2015 and is now a homeless living under a bridge. There are currently 128 billion probably more by now, Dogecoins in circulation at the moment compared to Bitcoin's 18.5 million. And here's a community favorite. If you wondered which dog is on Dogecoin's logo, it is the Shiba Inu, which is a hunting dog 
breed. It is important to know that the currency is not actively maintained. Dogecoin has not seen many updates since 2015. So the Dogecoin network is secured by miners just like the Bitcoin network. For each block that is mined, miners receive 10,000 Dogecoins as a reward. Now, Bitcoin mines a new block every 10 minutes, while for the Dogecoin network, miners generate a new block just about every minute. Now, this is where Bitcoin and Dogecoin really, really separate. Dogecoin takes a complete different approach to its economic design. The coin has chosen an inflationary design. Basically, that means that Dogecoin has infinite supply. At the current rate, there are 14.4 million new Dogecoins every single day. So the first issue here is if we look at the Dogecoin rich list, we will see that there's one wallet, right? One single wallet that holds 28.37% of the entire coins in circulation. Just think about that. One person holds 28% over a quarter of the entire coins in circulation. Now, if we go to the next biggest wallet, right? There's 12 wallets that hold 18%, 18.5% of the entire coins in circulation. So that means 13 wallets in total hold 46.9% of the entire circulation in Dogecoin. Then if we go an extra, just an extra 89 more wallets, they own 20% of the entire circulation. So that gives us, right, with a total of 102 people, 102 wallets, own 67% of the entire Doge coins in circulation. 67%, guys. You can see here in this tweet that it says, uh, one address holds 20% of all Doge, top 20 address holds more than 50% of all Doge. If they eventually dump on you, there's no way you will ever recover. This is the rich list of Dogecoin centralized as hell. So this is basically as centralized as you can get when it comes to crypto. The Doge father himself, Elon Musk, even says that he can't lend his full support to the coin until some of the top owners sell off their coins. Now, there is some speculation that Robinhood possibly possesses one of those biggest, the biggest wallets on the Dogecoin rich list. The reason why is because Robinhood says that users don't possess the private keys to their crypto holdings, meaning that Robinhood technically owns all the Doge traded on its platform. Here's a tweet from Elon Musk saying that if major Dogecoin holders sell most of their coins, it will get my full support. Too much concentration is the only real issue in my opinion. Then he said, I will literally pay actual money if they just void their accounts. So now that we got all the reasons that I've never invested in Doge and the reasons why I still don't have any Dogecoin out of the way, now we can talk bullish case scenario for Dogecoin and the reason that it could potentially break out to $1 as soon as Saturday. If you guys think that Doge is going to hit $1 by the end of this week, Drop it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys don't think so, then let me know why as well. Make sure you guys are liking this video and smashing it. I'm talking about smashing it. I want to see the enter key on your keyboard fly off. And of course, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification. All right, so there is definitely a real life possibility that Dogecoin could hit potentially a dollar. Now remember, I said possibility. I didn't say it was going to. I said there's a possibility and we'll talk about why right now. So that's when we come back to Elon Musk, the Doge father who is going to be on Saturday Night Live on May 8th. So why does that matter? Because he is probably going to be pumping this coin up like no other. He is basically the entire marketing team for Dogecoin. He is a one man wrecking band. And I think that he's going to cause definitely a lot of volatility in the market 
leading up to it and possibly during the show, depending what happens. Now we can jump on to our bearish case scenario for Dogecoin, right? So do you guys remember when there was Doge Day 420 for Dogecoin? It was super hyped up. The coin went up like crazy, right? Leading up to that Doge Day. And then what happened on Doge Day, guys? There was a dump of 70%, a 70% dump off, right? Now, why did that happen? There's something called buy the rumor, sell the news. And that's exactly what happened on 420 Doge Day. People bought the rumors and they sold on Doge Day and dumped on everybody. All the people with a lot of money are dumping on you. Because you guys, us, we tell people that don't have billions of dollars, we don't have much control over the prices. You know, uh, the market doesn't care what you do. They don't care if you buy or sell. It's the people with a lot of money, like what happened during this time, that is going to move the market. So for you and for us as a retail investors, we have to be aware of these situations and these scenarios and be prepared to exit if this happens. So what could happen here is that there could definitely be some sort of pump for the next in an, you know, maybe look, look at today. Today's down 11%. It's been pumping up, you know, leading up to this news, but right now we're trending downwards. So I do see a, a scenario where we head up right before Saturday or right before Saturday night live, the price pumps up. We could possibly retest that 69 cents. I imagine a breakout if, if we were to retest that I imagine a breakout and my target there is 85 cents in that scenario and then a possible dump at some point on Saturday because people will be selling the news and this dump could drop back down to currently more or less where it's around now that 50 cent range or it could dump uh, maybe even further back down to uh, where it was down here on the 40 cent range, maybe even 30 cent range. It could be a drop of about 50% or more is, is basically what I'm trying to say. Similarly to what happens on Doge Day 420, right? There was a 70% drop. So I'm just telling you guys, trying to warn you guys to be prepared for this scenario because it's something that is very likely to happen. So you have to be prepared. So in conclusion, guys, yes, I was wrong. But am I investing or putting money in Dogecoin? I'm still not doing it. The train has left the station long ago. The place to buy was under a penny. You know, even under 10 cents, there's a case for that for sure. But I think if you've made 5x on your money already, 3x, 2x, you're not gonna find those returns anywhere else. You know, be prepared to, to take profits and you should be taking profits along the way because we don't know what's gonna happen next. There could be a pump, there could be a dump. We don't know, it's impossible to know. The only thing I could tell you is from a technical standpoint, right? Showing you the pattern and the possibility of where that next price target could be. And then I could show you the bear case scenario where from history that, you know, on Doge Day 420, where the price was supposed to stack skyrocket to a dollar, it actually, in actuality, it dropped 70% back down to 13 cents, right? It dropped from 43 cents down to 13 cents. So if that happened, it could definitely happen again. And I just wanna make sure that everybody out there is aware of these both case scenarios. Don't only be bullish, don't only be bearish just kind of be level headed, have a plan and put it into action. Don't FOMO, don't panic, just execute your plan. <sighs> so this is definitely the longest video and the most amount of time that I've ever spent speaking about Dogecoin. <laughs> and I can't believe it's come to this. But um, that's it for me guys. Um, those are all my thoughts on Dogecoin, where it could go and, and what could happen in the next few days. Um, by the time Saturday night airs. So make sure you guys are taking profits. That's all I'm trying to say. I wanna see you guys make money, not lose money. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that uh, you smash the like on this video, guys, if you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments, let's have a conversation. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Turn on that notification bell. And uh, let's rock and roll, guys. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.